لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله تعالى فلا مضل له ومن يضل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له له الملك وله الحمد يحيي ويميت وهو حي لا يموت بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير وأشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا وقائدنا وقدوتنا وقرة أعيننا سيدنا محمد أدى الأمانة وبلغ الرسالة ونصح للأمة وكشف الله به الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتاه اليقين وتركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها إلا كل هالك فصلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى آله وصحبه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد يقول الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه العزيز بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون O praises due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We thank him for his guidance and we ask him for his forgiveness We seek refuge within Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala From the evil within our souls And from the evil within our sins Anyone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has misguided then no one can guide and anyone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has guarded, then no one can misguide. And anyone whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has misguided, then no one can guard. I bear witness that there is no Lord worthy of worship except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I bear witness that our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and most beloved Prophet to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he tells us in the Quran and he advises us and he says, O you who believe, fi Allah the fee he is most deserving of and do not die except in the state of Islam. My dear brothers in Islam, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for making us from the people of Islam and for making us from the followers of his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. For the greatest ni'mah which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us is this ni'mah of Islam. This ni'mah of Islam in which if the governors and the emperors of the world knew that which we have, which we have in our hearts, they would have fought us for it. If they knew this Islam that we have and this iman, they would have fought us for it. For it is a great bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the greatest and most actions that the believer must have is the asking of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for thabat. To ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for thabat. And thabat, my dear brothers, is firmness. Stability. Thabat on what? Thabat on Islam. To be firm in Islam, to be firm in Iman. For my dear brothers in Islam, we are living in days in which we are in most need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bestow upon us thabat, this firmness in the deen. My dear brothers in Islam, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, 
was the most beloved of creations to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he will be given from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until he will be pleased. وَلَسَوْفَ يُعْطِيكَ رَبُّكَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam until he is pleased. The furthest of hearts away from being misguided is the heart of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The most firm heart in belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The last person, the last heart that you would think that would turn away from the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yet Imam Ahmad, amongst others, they narrate a hadith upon Anas radiallahu anhu, the great companion of Islam, where he approaches the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he says, Ya Rasulullah, inni araka tukthiru min qawlik, ya muthabbit al-qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. Anas radiallahu anhu, he approaches the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and he tells him, O oh Prophet of Allah, I always hear you making the dua, Ya Muthabbit al Qulub, Thabbit Qalbi ala Deenik. I always hear you making this dua, O one who the hearts and the firmness of the hearts on Islam is in his hands, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Keep my heart firm on your religion. Who is making this dua, my dear brothers? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Anas radiallahu anhu, he approaches the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because he says, I always hear you repeating, repeating, repeating this dua. Ya muthabbit al qulubi thabbit qalbi ala deenik. And this is the heart of who? This is the heart of the most purest of people, of the most purest of creation that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created in his dunya. Yet he is still asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to what? To keep his heart firm on the religion. So Anas radiallahu anhu, he says to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, لَقَدْ آمَنَّا bik وَبِمَا جِئْتَ bihi." He says, O Prophet of Allah, we have believed in you. We believe in you, O Prophet of Allah, as a Prophet. And we believed in that which you have come with, the Qur'an, the deen. Atakhafu alayna. Look what Anas is asking. This great companion is asking the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Atakhafu alayna. Do you fear for us, O Prophet of Allah? Look at the response of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Instantaneously he says, Naam. He says, yes, the most purest of people to live at the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best of men, khayrun nasi qarni, the best of people are the ones who lived with him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. These companions that live with him, these companions which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he chose them to be companions of his beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet Sallallahu he says, yes, I fear for you. He says, إِنَّ الْقُلُوبَ بَيْنَ إِصْبَعَيْنِ مِنْ أَصَابِعِ اللَّهِ يُقَلِّبُهَا كَيْفَ يَشَاءَ He says, the hearts are in the hands of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. He deals with them as he wills. And this is why the heart in Arabic language is called Al-Qalb. Because it what? Al-Qalb means to turn around, to turn over, to change. This is the state of the heart. The state of the heart is that it changed. Well, dear brothers, if you can move forward to make some space. 
The heart is called the heart because it changes. One day it's on the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the next day it is following the shaitan. Our hearts have been infiltrated and they are easily misguided. They are easily changed. One glance at this dunya and we change our ways. We leave our deen. We leave our religion. And our own Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is constantly making dua. Ya muqallib al qulubi thabbit qalbi ala deenik wa jibadim islam. When was the last time you asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep your heart firm? When was the last time you asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep your heart firm on this deen? But there is a greater problem than this, my dear brothers in Islam. The problem that we have is that we think that our firmness in this deen, me coming to this khutbah al jumuah me praying, me fasting, we think that this is from our own selves, that this is from our own work, that we have done this by ourselves, that we have gained this religion by ourselves. And this is the fall that we have fallen in. This is the hole that we have fallen in. The Prophet wasallam, the purest of hearts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the Quran, teaching him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that even you, O Prophet of Allah, you do not have any power upon yourself. Even the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَلَوْلَا أَن ثَبَّتْنَاكَ لَقَدْ كِدْتَ تَرْكَنُ إِلَيْهِمْ شَيْئًا قَلِيلًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَوْلَا أَن ثَبَّتْنَاكَ If it wasn't for us, if it wasn't for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keeping you firm, لَقَدْ كِدْتَ تَرْكَنُ إِلَيْهِمْ شَيْئًا قَلِيلًا You were about to turn and to follow them even in the most smallest of things. If it wasn't for the tathbeet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the purest of hearts, then the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would have what? <coughs> would have went astray. Because it is only by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the problem that we have is that we think that our religion, that what we are doing, our actions, our praying, our good deeds, they are all from our own power. They are all from our own will. We have done this by ourselves. We lift our heads up. It is only until you bow your head in submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowing that you do not have anything of benefit or harm to yourself, knowing that everything is to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, every single action. When the caller for salat, he says, Come to the Salat, come to the prayer, come to the Falah. What is the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam after we see or after we hear this? Say La Hawla wa la quwa illa billah. We have no strength, we have no power except by what? Except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Until you understand and you adhere and you submit, knowing that you have nothing from yourself, it is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then we will only be falling further and further away from the religion. And unfortunately, this is what we see. We see the people, they pray, they fast. But in a moment's time, it will change. Why? Because there is no firmness there. There is no submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Surah Ali Imran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he mentions, الرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ Not the ulama, الرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ The well-grounded people of knowledge. وَالرَّاسِخُونَ فِي الْعِلْمِ يَقُولُونَ آمَنَّ بِهِ كُلُّ مِنْ عِنْدِ رَبِّنَا when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he speaks about the muhkam and the mutashabih, the well-grounded scholars in Islam, what do they say? They say, we believe it is all from our Lord 
It is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَا يَذَّكَّرُ إِلَّا أُولُ الْأَلْبَابِ And these only the ones of intellect, of understanding are the ones that remember and adhere. Straight after this verse, they make a dua. These rasikhuna fil ilm, these well-grounded scholars, they make a dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Straight after this verse, they say, ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا وهب لنا من لدنك رحمة إنك أنت الوهاب. The dua that these well-grounded scholars they say ربنا لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد إذ هديتنا. These rasikhuna fi al-ilm, if it was to be told or to be said that who is more or who will fall into misguidance more, the people of knowledge or the people with no knowledge, it will be the people with no knowledge. But yet the ones who are well grounded in knowledge, what is their dua? رَبَّنَا لَا تُزِقْ قُلُوبَنَا Oh Allah, do not misguide our hearts. Do not send our hearts astray. بَعْدَ إِذْ هَدَيْتَنَا After you have guided us. وَهَبْ لَنَا مِنْ لَدُونْكَ رَحْمَةً And give us this mercy of yours, O oh Allah. This rahmah, this mercy of Islam, this mercy of understanding, this bounty of knowing, this bounty of fiqh, of understanding of the deen. إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ الْوَهَّابِ You are the all-giver. <coughs> this dua, my dear brothers in Islam, يَا مُثَبِّتَ الْقُلُوبِ ثَبِّتْ قَلْبِ عَلَى دِينِكَ is a dua in which the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he continuously made and he kept on making this dua. Anas رضي الله عنه he narrates a hadith. عائشة رضي الله عنها she narrates a similar hadith. And Nawaz bin San'an radiallahu anhu, he narrates another hadith. They all approach the Prophet with the same matter. The firmness in the deen. And wallahi, my dear brothers, we are in the state, the Islam, individuals, society, worldwide, we are all in a state of need of thabat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, بَادِرُوا بِالْأَعْمَالِ فِتَنًا كَطِطَعِ اللَّيْلِ الْمُظْلِمِ Rush, rush to the good deeds before the fitan, before the ibtila, before the trials and tribulations come like the darkness of the night. بَادِرُوا rush سَابِقُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ we have changed the tables around, unfortunately. We rush and we race for that which is of this dunya, that of which what we will all leave and go into our graves and leave everything behind us for our children, for our families to fight over and you will only be in that grave, my dear brother, with your actions, with nothing else. You will only be in that grave with your actions. But we have turned the tables around where we rush for that which is of this dunya. And when it comes to the religion, insha'Allah, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wills, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wills, I will pray. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wills, I will put the hijab on. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he wills, I will adhere. When he wills, insha'Allah, insha'Allah, and we walk slowly, and we have turned the tables around. بَادِرُوا بِالْأَعْمَالِ فِتَنًا Wallahi, my dear brothers, we are living in days in which the trials and tribulations in, is in each and every one of our households. And we all know this. Each and every single one of us has a fitna in his house. We are all going through hardships. And the only saviour from this is what? is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be firm. Why did the Prophet sallallahu tell us to rush to the good deeds before the fitan and the trials come as dark as the night? Why? يُمْسِ أَحَدُكُمْ مُؤْمِنًا أو يُمْسِ أَحَدُهُمْ مُؤْمِنًا وَيُصْبِحُ كَافِرًا We will reach a stage, my dear brothers, where a person will go to sleep, he'll put his head on his bed, and he'll be a believer, and he'll wake up the next day and he's a kafir. 
These are the words of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. وَيُمْسِي كَافِرًا وَيُصْبِحُ مُؤْمِنًا Then he'll go to sleep again as a kafir, and then the next day he'll wake up as what? As a mu'min. Why? يَبِيعُ دِينَهُ بِعَرَضٍ أو بِعَرَضٍ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا قَلِيلٍ who sell his religion for the smallest of things from this dunya. He will sell his religion. He will rush after this, this dunya and he will forget the deen. He will forget the, the, the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The companions, my dear brothers, the difference between them and us is that they had the deen on their heads and they had the dunya in their arms. Whenever the deen shook, whenever the head shook, they would leave the dunya and they would grab the deen, they would grab the head. We have turned them around. We have the dunya on our heads. It is our main priority, unfortunately. And each and every single person, he knows himself. Everyone knows themselves. Malid insan wa ala nafsihi basira. Every person, he knows that which he's done. Walau alqa ma'adira. Even if you throw as many excuses as you want to the people, you know yourself. We have put the dunya on our heads and the deen is in our arms. As soon as the dunya shakes, as soon as I lose some wealth, as soon as I don't get this job, as soon as something doesn't go through, if I don't have the house, if I don't have the good car, my dunya is shaking. So what happens? We throw the deen and we grab the dunya. We go after that which is going to go away, that which is going to be distributed, destroyed, burnt, whatever you want. This dunya is going. The dunya is going to go away. None of us is going to rock up, or none of us is going to be in our grave with his wealth. Even if you want to bury yourself with that car that you have, with that, with that house that you have, this will not benefit you. It is only the actions that you do that is that which will, which will benefit you, both in this dunya, another misunderstanding, both in this dunya before the akhirah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, in the most beautiful of ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا Whoever fears Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the true fear, يَجِدْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا He will find a way for him. You are in a situation of hardship. You are in a situation of, of you have constant headache over this dunya, constant ham, concern of this dunya. The bills are not being paid. Anything in relation to this dunya, the way out is what? Is through fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and submitting yourself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهَ يَجْعَلْ لَهُ مَخْرَجًا وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ حَيْثُ لَا يَحْتَسِبُ This rizq that we are all concerned about, this wealth, this paper that is in our hands, it is all from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this rizq will come from places in which you did not even think about. But you need to trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You need to put your faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he did. He had the purest of hearts, but yet he still made the dua. He had the purest of hearts, the best of actions, but yet he still stayed up the night in worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He had the purest of hearts, but yet he still used to connect his siyam. He used to fast for two, three days. Aisha radiallahu anha, she says, he used to fast until we say that he's never going to break his fast. And this is who? This is the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The, 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 the furthest of hearts away from being on the misguidance. But yet, when we look at the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we will only find work after work, actions after actions. That's why the, Allah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, after the, the message was brought down, لا راحة بعد اليوم There's no more rest, خلاص. The days of rest, the days of sleep are over. The days of resting is over. There is Jannah, there is Naar. And we are either going to go to one of the two. It's either to heaven or to hellfire. It's either to heaven by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
or it's to the hellfire from our own actions and from our own work. No one can force you to do anything. A dua in which we must constantly make, my dear brothers, asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for thabat. Continuously make this dua. Ya muqallib al qulub, thabbit qalbi ala deenik. In every ruku' in every sujood. Before you go to sleep, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep your heart firm on this religion. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru Allah li wa lakum fa astaghfiruhu innahu huwa al-ghafuru wa taqaddam